deleted all the files. What? Both versions of the vlog, they're gone. You're a f***ing crazy person. Good morning, it's early. I'm just getting my routine started. A lot of times students will tell me that they hear someone walking in the distance or maybe a bird chirping and so they have a hard time concentrating in the meditation. So check this out. Ooh, gotta develop some durable meditation tools, folks. So this week was pretty crazy. I shot basically what comes down to maybe three times as much as would be needed to make a second vlog. And then it just wasn't working, so I was like, I gotta start again. I invited my friend Evan over, uh, who's a filmmaker, and was like, you know, how do we do this? He helped a lot and it just didn't work and there's technical issues and so all of that gone again. This channel is for people who are really interested in meditation and want to bring mindfulness and creativity into every aspect of their lives. This vlog is really about my process in trying to find a way to do that because I'm trying to create something that I don't know if I've ever seen before. A friend of mine, someone who I cared about, her name was Pauletta, who was a great teacher of meditation as well, recently passed away. Before she passed away said, live life. Don't forget that you're alive. Be creative love the world. I can't wait for the plan to be finished or the script to be written. And so this vlog is creating what I wanna create before there is a script, without a net. There was so much support for the first vlog and I really appreciate that. If you're watching this, know that we appreciate every little bit of support that people give. This is not just a channel where we throw stuff at people. This really is a feedback loop and the questions and the ideas that people have given are fantastic. There was so much support for the first vlog. And with all that support came this feeling of, wow, I really need to make the second one really great, or I don't even know what I thought would happen. The whole world would abandon me and I'd be totally alone, or whatever the background fears are that go on in a human mind. Raquel has had to live with this. And this is what we're gonna do, and talk to her about it, and have these ideas, and then be like, oh, it's really, really not working. And so I'm gonna tell her now that uh, the first two versions of this vlog are no more. You're a crazy person. So that didn't go so bad, but um, now we have to actually build the blog. Yesterday I was at the skateboard track and had an injury and my entire calf seized up so I can barely walk. Not only do I want to meet up with my friend Evan, but also we're gonna be touring around town and I'm gonna be sort of crawling along behind him. Absolutely nothing in the world helps with a discussion on mindfulness more than ice cream. There it is. We can A, get to a place where meditation is all of our experiences, and we're really aware that this is kind of this unfolding universe of discovery. But also there are these experiences that, that have been cataloged in ancient texts and you know all these different religions that are kind of these white light experiences or deep transformational experiences that are real. And we want to teach people how to move towards that in a really systematic way that's not, you know, mystical, mystical not, you know, uh, you don't have to believe in a lot of junk. How much uh, smart editing does it take to actually bring someone to classical awakening? And there's a lot of calculations and stuff, but it's about two minutes. Okay, yeah, that yeah. makes sense. All I Only... want to accomplish with this video is uh, to teach people that awakening at the deepest level is completely available and that uh, every instance is constant meditation. So if by the end of this video we can get there, then we're in good shape. So right now, can you tell that you're seeing? Yes, I'm much more aware of the fact that I am seeing and what I'm seeing now that it's been brought up. To know that we're seeing, we're in the realm of meditation. Right. So the way I like to break it down comes from a te one teacher named Shinzen, that we just look at three things, seeing, hearing, and feeling. Okay. If I really see that all I'm experiencing is seeing, hearing, and feeling, or just my senses, then all of a sudden there is no inside or outside. There's no self and world. It merges into one pool of sensing swirling around. So that can be really powerfully transformative. I'd be into that. Let's walk around and explore a little. Dig it. 
think what we'll do is we'll just uh, go back and forth. Okay. And I'm gonna label which one of those senses is sort of at the forefront for me. And then you label which is at the forefront for you. So we'll just say one of those three words, see, hear, or feel. Okay. It's okay to be late, it's okay to guess, uh, it's okay to be wrong. Just like in that moment, what I'm experiencing the most of? Yeah, oh. or, or even half of, or whatever, but as long as it's there. Well, okay. Um, see. Feel. See. Feel. Hear. All right, so what's what's the report? Whoa. <laughs> I said see as I was like focusing on this like cool mural thing across the street and just immediately felt that like dissonance between my experience and my senses just disappear. It's cool. Can I tell that I'm seeing? Yes. Okay. Easy. Cool. Easy. Cool. Sometimes I feel like people really over effort, over try. It must be something really complex because it's supposed to bring all these great benefits. But actually it's so simple. Right. This is where the pavement used to encircle the tree and then So Evan Bounce, we're almost done here, not quite. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Be sure to hit that little bell icon next to the subscribe button if you wanna know when we post a new video. And wanted to share one more thing. I think it's gonna be nice.